Come on, be part of this history that is about to begin on Saturday, the 18th of March, 2023. Last week, Gadeba Rosiva will be Lagos State Governor elect by the first We are taking over. No going back. No going back. We are taking over. They went in party. Labour party is taking over. They go. That's about you. Inspired me so much again to talk about uh, our brother Nash this morning. Professor Nash talks about game theory. You know, equilibrium, zero sum game, and the likes. In all of this, what we see is the fact that the zero-sum game is being played on the Nigerian people. When you look at it deeply, it's about the politicians, but not about the Nigerian people. What do the Nigerian people need? They need justice. They need justice as regards an electoral process. So when somebody, the president-elect, starts to talk about national competence and all of that, irrespective of the elections, the question we should ask him is, can he vouch for the process that brought him in? Because yesterday, one of his spokespersons, Mr. Dele Alake, said this election has been the fairest and the fairest since 1999. I put it to Mr. Dele Alake that what he said is untrue. It's a lie. These elections were not free, were not fair, were fought with a lot of irregularities. And part of the game theory you're also talking about, Dr. Abati, is also media manipulation. That's another game. And that's why I say, see, in the coming days, there's going to be a fight for the truth, what dominates the truth. And in fighting for the truth, a lot of societal actors will deploy many tactics. Part of them is one tactic called gaslighting. What is gaslighting? They tell you something that happened never happened. In fact, they will controvert your evidence and say your evidence isn't true. When people are gaslighting you, after they've been able to controvert your evidence, they say, go and provide your evidence. And you're going to see a lot of that. So, Nigeria people, please be watchful. A lot of those games are going to happen. There's going to be an all-out media war in the coming days. It's part of the game. But the sad reality of the game is that Nigerians are always being played in the zero-sum game. The zero-sum game in game two is pretty much a game that affects and favors the winner. And the other person doesn't get anything. Going back to his statement, he came out to say you build a government of competence, which is supposed to be the right refrain. But the question we should ask is, have we finished interrogating the process that led to its emergence in the first place before we can say we want to build a government of competence? Those are the questions we should ask ourselves. Yes. I have not ever subscribed to government of national units because we know the historical antecedents of that. Shagari and Anzikiwe tried that in 79. We also are ended. It is always going to be skewed in favor of one party or the other. But what a lot of Nigerians are commenting about is the fact that the process and the guidelines were they followed by INEC, 
If the answer has been answered as regards that, that no, then let's allow the court take its course. And let's also be patient and conciliatory in the statement we make. I've got nothing against Bola Tinubu talking about he wants a government of competence. That's what we want, and that's a welcome development. Because for too many times, we've had a lot of incompetent people serve our country. But also, we should not, because we are in the spirit of political gamemanship, negating the truth. Because the truth is the fabric that builds a society. And the funny thing about the truth is that it is resolute, it is constant, it never leaves. No matter how much you try as much as possible to bring about alternative reality, like Kelly and Conway invented that word, Trump surrogate in America, the truth is constant. And what is the truth about these elections? That INEC didn't follow its own process. And that's why we call on the judiciary to stand tall and allow the truth prevail in this country. So that's the grand analysis of it. But he can say he wants a government of competence. He can do power voting. You, you know, he can flex muscle and all of that. He's president-elect. But he's too subject to the courts. That's all I'll say about this. <laughs> all right. That's uh, Rufayo. You don't talk again. No. Where? Uh, well, I'm at Tinubu. <laughs> the thing is, we, Nigeria is still, we are patient. We are patient and we want to see and we want to see what the courts will bring out of this. I mean, they've asked uh, his excellency Pitobi to go to the courts now, and the man has, he's already in court. So why rushing? Why rushing? Where are we rushing to? So, uh, Sirubu can continue to do whatever he's doing. He can continue to run. I can continue to hold press conference. Uh, do anything. It's okay. He's all right. Uh, he's doing what uh, uh, INEC has elected him in office to do. But the fact remains that the, the process that brought him to where he is now is questionable. And Nigeria, the, the Nigeria wants to address that process. Nigeria wants to make sure that, yes, that they are not being played on. This is the same game, game, game everybody is talking about. Now, okay, he's a game player, blah, blah, blah. But what kind of games are they playing on Nigerians? Is it a game that, that, that feeble horse of game that feeble them? Did we elect? Uh, I will have, the question is if we, in the first place, we elected him as the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, or he elected himself. So let the courts do his job. And that's what Rufa is saying that, hey, no matter how much uh, peace uh, or unity and everything we be saying about the hacks for and uh, all those things, blah, 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 <laughs> now, no matter in the hacks, it's okay. We are fine with you. They do your job. But then we're still waiting for the court outcome, the outcome of the court. Thank you so much for watching. I, I need you to drop your comment on this. Uh, as Bola Hamed Sinubu is uh, trying to make peace and trying to tell us that hey, his cabinet or people will be saying go we'll work with him, will be saying they bring, then go we'll dig competent, then go we'll come do job, will be saying go we'll transform Nigeria just like that. So make me no fear, make me no the check at all. At all, at all, they are coming to change things around. Uh -huh. That's what they bring in. <laughs> when I share this, I mean, when I share around, share, 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 share. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is David Istria, and this is a news trending around the world. Continue to watch until I come your way next time. Stay tuned. All right.